Corn, corn, corn. Hickory King corn. We're going to try uh, some corn nuts. This is Hickory King corn. Let me turn that around, make sure you, I can see. But that's Hickory King corn. This has been hanging here for a day or two drying. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shell this. I'm gonna take that off the, the shuck off the cob. And you can twist that just a little bit to gain silk on it. It'll take, bring that silk right on. Take this right here and start running that through there, shelling that corn. That's a pretty good little apparatus to have. It sure saves on your hands and speeds thing up. Speeds things up. I've got a corn sheller. I just ain't got a barrel or a box under it yet out there. And of course this corn's just now, some of it getting dry. So, there's many ways, and I'll go, if there's any little bitty seeds or kernels that looks a little brown, I can just get them out. It's that simple, no big deal. Do you a couple of these. Uh, if you want to, or one, or whatever, and you might as well just do, you know, uh, more than one while you're at it. And uh, you can do this with hand, your hands. You don't need this thing. It just, if you're doing a lot of it, it just might save a few blisters. Nothing but a, it's called a Decker corn sheller. A Decker corn sheller. Just rolling kernels off there. You don't have to get them all. Spread it out a little bit. Look through them. Make sure there's nothing that don't look right. The one's a little dark colored like this one right here. See, that one's yellow or dark. That one's white. I like to get the dark ones out. Like I say, it don't take a half a minute. A lot of the times you'll find these little dark ones that they'll be on the, the end of the cob. Takes a few minutes, just a few minutes. You'll do that like that right there. A lot of times you can leave some of the chaff and and uh, silk on that tray. So here's what we got. We've got a tray. That's two. That's two cobs of corn. Two cobs. Now let me move you around here. And, and what we're going for is golden, golden corn. It'll take you just, just a few minutes, not long. See if I can't get me a fork out of there. Gotta have a fork. reason I get a fork because I like to stir it a little round. Probably uncalled for. They're starting to darken this a little bit, but they're not ready yet. Unless you like a, <laughs> they're not ready. They'll get golden. You'll break your teeth if you don't get these cooked right. You will break your teeth. 
Whoops. I'm gonna set that over there for right now. I just thought I'd show you one of the things you can do with corn. Now a lot of people say, and I'll agree, that uh, if this corn was dried out hard as a rock, I mean, I'm talking about completely dry, a lot of people will soak that all night and put it in a jar or something, put a lid on it, set it in the refrigerator and soak it all night. I guess it, it swells that corn up, puts a little moisture in it. Probably, it's just like the moisture in popcorn, I'd say that, uh, of course, popcorn's, <laughs> it's set on a shelf and pretty dry too, isn't it? Anyway, I didn't set this in the refrigerator and I didn't soak that in no water. You've seen me shell it. Went straight from the shallower onto the tray and directly into the uh, deep fryer. And uh, I'll tell you something else I like to do. As that's cooking, I'll take a little saucer and I'll reach in there and I'll get me two or three out and lay out here on this saucer. Let them cool just a minute. And uh, then I'll give them a try to see where they're at. One, try one. Not done, not ready. Not crisp enough, too chewy. So you just let her roll. Let her cook. You'll know, they'll start getting a little darker. It's a good snack that you can make simple. It can be in a skillet, whatever. I made them in an orange skillet. I just like this because I can strain it, <coughs> strain them out of that oil faster, easier. They'll start getting brown. They'll go through that kind of a brown or light tan color that they're not done there. Not to suit me, anyway. Not to suit me. Get you, get you one or two, put in there, give it a second to cool off. Almost there, almost there, almost there. They're almost there. Just another. Yeah, they could come off right now. Now that deter That's got a lot to do with, with uh, being just right. Well, it ain't nothing just right now, are they? But being uh, palatable and easy to chew and not burnt flavored. To. Uh, to where they're too too chewy. If they're too chewy, that is that is not the ideal of this is to get in a good crisp snack. And uh, they're there. Except I'm one that likes them just a little bit crisper. Of course, when you take them out of that oil and they cool just a little bit, they're going to get a little bit more crisp, too. Okay. Now, what I want to do is put them in a bowl, some kind of bowl.
So I'm going to dump them in this bowl right here. First thing I'm going to do is bring them out of there and let them drain for this to second. See that oil coming off of them. That's all I'm going to cook in this while it's done plugging. Try to get all the grease you can get off of them without making a, a terrible mess. And then <clears throat> what I like to do is take them and put them in a bowl. Just like that. Get back down in there. Break the handle over a little bit there. I'd say it'll be all right. And then get that back out of the way. Let me see if I can't get over here to the corner. Right there. And uh, see if we can't season these a little. And I'll show you a good way to season them. My, my way of seasoning them. Salt. Salt. I hope you can see me. <laughs> salt, 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 salt. And here, you'd be surprised. Sugar, 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 sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. Like that. Sugar. Plenty of sugar. And then... I take this right here and just roll that around. Just like that. I give that sugar this to second to melt. You stir it. You taste one. You're seasoning this to your taste, to your, to your flavor, how you like it. Cause it's your snack, right? Stir that up. That sugar on there. Stir it up good. I like to do this now. Put a little Old Bay seasoning on them. You can put onion powder, garlic powder, whatever kind of powder you want. Stir them babies up. And do like me. Slang them everywhere. I think that's going to do these. That bowl is mighty warm. Put them on this paper towel. And what that'll do is uh, soak a little of that excess uh, oil off of them. Just like that. Corn shucker, corn cobs. From this, from this, processed with that, left them, and this right here, shucks, put a little spice on it, a little seasoning, and you've got uh, a good snack. That's a, a, a good snack that you can grow in the garden and uh, 
crunchy. I love them. I'll show you one more thing, what I do. I better quit eating because people don't want to hear me crunching like a, a mule eating corn. Roll them up. Put them in a jar like that, and that really keeps them fresh. I've learned that if you if you don't if you don't put them in an airtight container, um, they don't get they get tough. They don't keep their the the crunchiness and. Uh, There you go, just like that. And you know that the ones that's in this tray, they're not gonna, they're not gonna survive. <laughs> they're not gonna survive long because I'm gonna eat them. Now you know another thing you can do with Hickory King corn. All right, that'll do it. Corn, 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 Hickory King corn. And it's like I say, this is not by no means all of it. I think in that one row, there's a six, let's see, 62 pair. If I, you, you, you get two or three runs of that corn right there and you, <laughs> you'll have all the corn you want for the winter. Wood and wood stove. It's about time to take the bucket off the, the pipe on that stove and get her fired up. Let's go right over here. That's the way I'm drying it. And we're gonna whiz right around through here if we can. And Toby's in there going ballistic because I'm outside and he ain't out here with me. But that's, uh, that's Hickory King corn right there, you boy. Fall's a coming, winter's a coming, but it's full all the way down. All but that very bottom one, that's just there for air flow. Hickory King corn. Hickory King corn. Pretty good size ears of corn. Pretty good size ears. That right there will feed you for a day if you needed fed. All right. And them cucumbers out there on that vine will feed you a little frost if you'll keep them plants alive. <laughs> All right, that's it.